finally, finally I have the Leoncino 500 trail. What a nice bike. Ay, it's so good to be on a 500. Oh, yes. It goes! And it turns very nice. Oh, such a smooth bike. You can feel it. Woo! Oh my God. So good. And finally, I have the Leoncino 500 trail which is the bike that I, I, I find the most interesting from the pack. Oh. It looks, it looks great. It, whatever they, they wanted to do with the bike, they achieved it. I think the bike looks amazing. It handles great. It's, it's the same engine as the, as my TRK, but I believe this bike is a slightly lighter, not significantly lighter, but lighter. Um, still the difference uh, in the power ratio, I, I don't know, maybe that's because I've, uh, I switched from the 302 uh, is there. So I'm on the fourth gear and I'm gonna just jump for it. Woo! What a beast. Okay, from now on, if anyone tells me, from now on, if anyone tells me that 500 is not powerful enough, I will, I will just laugh, because this one is a beast. This one is a beast. I, that, I would say that the position in terms of my legs is, is similar to the one that I have on my TRK. Foot pegs are in a correct position. Uh, the gear lever is in a correct position. The bike, the brake lever is in a correct position. So I wouldn't change anything. Um, sure, it doesn't have the wind, any wind protection, but you know it is what it is, and you have <laughs> you have to all learn to enjoy the wind. It's a bit noisy, um, but. That is part of riding a, a naked. Uh, I would love to try it off-road. It does. It does have stock MSLR tires. Um, I know how they perform. The, those are the same uh, tires that I uh, had on my TRK, fresh from the factory uh, for light off-road, gravel roads. They are more than enough. Uh, I cannot push the bike because it's not my bike, but uh, it's just wants to go. I think it would do just fine on, on, on a light off-road. And the fact that it's uh, naked, the fact that it doesn't have all those, uh, all the, all the equipment here in this area, doesn't bother me. It's just uh, it is how it is. It's just different. Doesn't mean that it's uh, worse. I'm just, I'm just thinking if this is powerful, if this goes so fast and this gives so much fun, how much fun would the 800 uh, give? I think, I think just too much because 
<laughs> What's happening? Ah, this guy is just testing the bike. I think that the 500, uh, the Benelli Leoncino 500 Trail is an awesome bike. If I would be to cho choose a second bike from uh, Benelli, no doubt this one, just not the color, but this bike just rides. Oh. Okay, I believe that this will be the last bike that I will try today. So briefly about all of those bikes that I uh, had a chance to test today. I started with Leoncino 250. It's a great little bike. Definitely good looking. Definitely looks like a smaller version of the Leoncino 500. For me, too small. Um, it's just, it just, I had to sit on the back seat to to be more comfortable. It wasn't comf. It, I, I I cannot call it a comfort, comfortable ride. But other than this, I, I I see that bike as a great solution for someone who's just maybe shorter or maybe uh, maybe a girl. Uh, a definitely great bike to to move around the city. Definitely a great bike as a first motorcycle it was uh, accelerating very nicely I, I cannot really pin down any any bad aspects of the bike other than the fact that it was just too small for myself so the second one was the one that uh, you can see in front of me that's the 502 s or c i still don't know um, well it's a very different bike this i have never try the bike when you sit in that position so I, I cannot say that I enjoyed it this much uh, in terms of the engine and uh, gearbox I think it was the smoothest uh, ride of all bikes but the position on the bike definitely not for me very you sit very low you sit in a like this crumpled position your legs are much in front um, the, the foot brake is in, a, in front of you it's, i don't know uh, i definitely not for me uh, but good looking sure the third one was the benelli imperiale uh, this is you can tell that they focus on building a retro bike old school bike uh, first thing that I noticed is the, the it's a very very hard seat um, you sit you sit like a, on, a, on a piece of wood the position was uh, better than when on 250 and that 502 C or S um, I kind of enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Maybe this is not the bike for this type of riding that we're doing right now, which is uh, a bit higher speeds. But uh, for a uh, Sunday rides around the city, or maybe maybe even daily commute, that's a very interesting offer. Uh, I think like the the. In terms of the pricing, I think it's also very attractive. And uh, the downside was that it only has uh, five gears. I, I I would like to see that sixth gear in there. Uh, in terms of power, it was okay. Uh, the sound of the exhaust was great, so that's a, a, a huge plus. Then I switched to uh, Benelli 302. Uh, that was a great little bike, uh, switching from the Imperiale, that was a huge difference, definitely uh, uh, in plus. Uh, there was, the bike was smaller, the position was uh, maybe a bit sportier, but uh, let me just quickly see. The position was a bit sportier, but the bike was handling amazing. It was a small little bike, very similar to the 250, but it was, uh, in terms of uh, the sitting position it was a bit better not sure why uh, it was just better uh, the bike was all about fun it was very uh, fun to ride it although it, again uh, the bike was too small for me so i i would see um, again uh, uh, maybe a smaller rider or a girl on it definitely a good choice for a first bike 
Um, yeah, and a very good looking bike. I cannot say a bad thing. I, I, I definitely uh, caught my eye despite uh, me being more interested uh, visually in uh, Imperiale, I, 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 I think. I mean, Imperiale is closer to my styling. I'm not so much into sport bikes, but that's that little 302 uh, definitely look, looks so awesome. So, uh, yep. And now I'm sitting on uh, Benelli Ben Longino. 500 uh, trail so the big question <laughs> would I uh, would I change my TRK into any of those bikes no I mean <laughs> uh, if I would uh, if I would uh, be in a position to choose a second bike from the list and definitely this uh, Longino 500 would be the second bike it's an, I can imagine that uh, riding on this bike in a city is just it's just great and it's like it's a very good looking bike and just adding some I don't know leather uh, leather bags in the back you could just make it look look very stylish so if you care about that that's a great looking bike and, and you will most likely look great on it and it, it's, it's a huge huge fun to ride it <laughs> 